Welcome to the People Leaders Podcast, the audio resource for managers and business leaders creating high-performing teams. Join leadership and team development experts Jan and Michelle Turkelson each week as they explore both subjects from every angle. Through practical tips, valuable insights, and compelling interviews with leadership experts around the world, you'll learn how to bring out the best in your staff and how to give your best as a leader. Hi Jen, how are you? I'm quite excited again about this particular episode because we are going to share uh, a tool, a personality profiling tool that we're pretty excited about. Correct. And it's called Clarity 4D. And simply put, it is a personality profiling system linked to the four elements of fire, water, air and earth. And these have been around for Since Aristotle. Aristotle, Greek, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and... And so the profiles use those colors to identify the four personality types, and they are based on the work of Carl Jung, who we love. So those colors you mean for the air, that would be yellow. Correct. And for the earth, that's green. That's right. And blue is the water, Water. obviously, and for fire is red. And so all these colors pretty much signify a personality style or type. And like Carl Jung, he believed a thinking style and a behavior style created a dynamic. That's know? right. And so the the uh, terminology that we use in Clarity 4D is energy. And so yellow. Which I love. Yeah, I love. yeah, yeah. So yellow has an energy and the, it's the energy of, um, well, it's the energy of air. And ha- just have a think about the words that we use to describe that talkative, expressive, lighthearted, sociable, flamboyant, and enthusiastic. And so if you know anything about the work of Carl Jung, that sounds like a sort of an out there, um, you know, somebody who's social, interested in people. So it's an extroverted feeling type of energy. And then if we have a look at the next one, uh, let's have a look at the green energy, which is the earth energy. And again, it has the feeling sort of um, tones to it. It's uh, empathetic, concerned, informal, supportive, uh, patient and easygoing. So it sounds like it's, um, again, it's feeling, but it's a little bit more internal, so introverted in a way. Mm. So it's a green energy. And then let's have a look at the blue energy, Jan. That's the energy of water. And, you know, water is reflective, observing, analytical, cautious, formal and exacting. So that's the blue, the water energy. And so instead of the feeling, it's more of the thinking response. So, again, when you use this tool, you can think of it or see it as a thinking feeling a introverted extroverted so there are different dynamics to the colors so the last color which represents the fire element and which is red is the words to describe this would be someone who is focused and decisive direct challenging assertive action oriented business-like professional so these are some of the the terms that you could use to describe that fire energy and with those you actually as a result of doing a 50 question questionnaire you receive a profile and the profile describes someone like you so it doesn't define you you're not categorized into a box it's just based on your preferences and behaviors this is how you would show up and when we talk about clarity 4d it's the four d's which they talk about dimensions of ourselves and our development so the first dimension is discover so you actually get to see Um, how you see yourself. So do you see yourself as someone more feeling or thinking? Someone is more extroverted or introverted? Then the second dimension is discuss. This is how others perception of you so how other people see you and as a people leader this is the biggest you know like this level of awareness self-awareness and awareness of others is incredibly important so understanding the impact you have on others and how others see you is really going to define your level 
of um, influence and leadership skill. The third dimension is diversify. So this is all about your hidden potential. So knowing what you know about your personality style and you know where your strengths are which you can leverage, what are the opportunities here that you can start to uh, perhaps uh, work on and just know whether or not it is worth putting effort into some of those energies that you may not use a lot but you can dial up and down because as a leader you want to extend this repertoire of behavior so depending on the type of people and stakeholders you're talking to you're going to match that energy the language the behavior the words and the communication style that's right and what is uh, great about this tool is you can do it individually and have some coaching and development around this. It's definitely strengths based. Uh, it doesn't ignore the development opportunities, but it does give you, uh, an, uh, you know, some really good uh, phrases to delve into if you wanted to understand your strengths a little bit more. And um, the other thing that I like about it is that you can use it in your teams. Yeah. So I just want to go to the fourth dimension, which is develop your full potential over time. So this is where it is a really good development tool. And to your point, Michelle, in your profile, you can actually start to have a look at what are those um, descriptors and terms that have been pulled out of your profile that are going to be a really useful area to develop. And with this tool, there are just so many ways that, um, you know, that you can use it. And just from a cultural perspective, you know, we talk about, you know, like coloring your world and using your colors in a certain way, dialing the energy up and down. So the language is very non judgmental and it's looking at the world through a colored lens mm, that's right and that's what i like this this um you know common language we can start to have a language around um uh these colors for example we're in a team meeting and we've got some data analysis to do you know we can say things like so now we need to put our blue we don't need to dial our blue energy up for this or when there is some you know idea generation that could be okay let's dial up the the yellow energy, for example. So it's a really nice way to constructively give someone feedback as well. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, really like it. And, you know, when we're looking at the conversation we're having today, Michelle, about change champions, mm. you know, we call them colorists. Mm. You know, these are the people who are going to make sure that, you know, all the different personality styles are going to be incorporated and used in a change initiative because everyone has every component, but it's just to the varying degrees that they have it in their profile. Mm. So, yeah, there are lots of benefits with using this um, uh, the colour energy. We can understand more about ourselves, our strengths, our weaknesses, understand more about others um, who may have different preferences to us and different expectations, different desires. If we can you, look at it through the lens of, this color in clarity 4d i think it'll give us a nice a less judgmental way of viewing others better understand the behaviors expected of you in a team role or a leadership role you can start to have those conversations with your manager so for example uh one of the teams that we were working with they had a high yellow energy which is this talkative expressive extroverted feeling energy and some of their stakeholders are engineers and scientists so they were really clear now that when they communicate or when they're doing a debrief when they're sending out a comms are they matching the communication style to the people that they need to that's right deliver? Jen. so yellow you know people with the air energy would be less formal people with the blue energy would appreciate a more formal a more formalized interaction maybe send them an agenda um, prior to that or have some talking points there for them so you can just see the difference between those two mm. already yeah so we're just really excited about clarity 4d we just wanted to give you the heads up we're going to be talking about this more and more if you want to go to the clarity 4d website you can and it's clarity4d.com or go to our website because we'll have some information on clarity 4d there if you are interested in having your colors yeah your colors done <laughs> okay see you michelle bye
Thank you for joining us on the People Leaders Podcast. For show notes and other resources, please visit us at peopleleaderspodcast.com. If you have a leadership or management question or subject you'd like covered on the podcast, please contact us at podcast at peopleleaders.com.au. The People Leaders Podcast is brought to you by the Experts On Air Podcast Network.